Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Nexus 5 SoftModder and I'm here to talk to you about how to change the color of the LED notification light on your Nexus 5. So a lot of smartphones have LED notifiers, but they're normally limited to just red and blue. The Nexus 5 has a wide range of colors you can choose, but there's no built-in way to do it. You can read your phone to gain access to this stuff, but there's an easier way to do it, and I'm going to show you how. So one thing you can do is you can download an app from the App Store called Light Flow Light. There's a paid version of this app, but the light version here, the free version, has everything that you're going to need. So I actually recommend just downloading the free version. So once you download it from the Play Store, just open it up. And the first thing you're going to see is a permission box asking um, permission for the app to use, to have access to your notifications. So go ahead and enable that, which will take you to this screen and check this box. And again, Android's going to ask you permission to allow this app to have access to your notifications, but you're going to want to hit OK because the app cannot access your notifications unless you say that it can do so. So after you do that, go ahead and hit back. This will bring you to this screen. So this is the main screen of Lightflow Light. You've got some options here, volume, tools, settings. Um, if you go in the settings menu, there's actually nothing that you should change probably. I never changed anything when I was using this app. You just want to make sure that this first box enabled Lightflow is checked, which will turn on the app. So once that's checked, and in here for notifications. Now here you have all of these notifications or alerts here in this card form. You can scroll through and you can select one of them and you can adjust how you want the app to use the LED. So down here for SMS apps, for example, if it's on, you'll see a little color here in the lower left-hand corner of the card telling you that this app is on. So let's check this out for SMM apps, SMS apps. You're going to open this up. The first box, enable notification. You want to make sure that that's on. And that's really anything that you need to worry about in the notification tab. Over here, light. You go over there next. Make sure that enable light is on. And then here you can select the color of the light. Look at all these colors we can choose from. We've got blue, bright pink. The list goes on. You can choose anything you want. Um, in my testing, all these colors worked. So just pick one and go for it because it'll work. Um, you could also adjust the light duration which means how long is the light going to flash when you get the notification. I have mine set for do not automatically switch off. It'll switch off once you look at it. I think that's the best way to go about it. You've got the LED flash rate. You can adjust how quickly it flashes, which is also pretty cool. I've got mine set to fast because the default way is um, just kind of a slow pulse, and this way you'll get it more quickly. Um, there's other stuff that you can customize here. You can customize sounds. You can enable sounds to have the alert. Um, give you a different notification that you choose, but you can just leave that alone. I never mess with it. Your default system settings are best. Um, you can also check out vibration, which is something I had a little bit of fun with because you can enable an app once you hit enable vibration. You can adjust the vibration pattern of the app. So you can do one short, you can do three long vibrations, you can customize that, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, but for now, we're just going to worry about light. So just make sure that you have enable notification box here checked. And under light, make sure you have enable light checked and then pick the color. And that's it. Another thing you can do that I think is pretty cool is you can add a contact right here with this icon. And you can pick anyone from your contact list. Um, and once you do that, you can click on that person. And then you can customize an alert just from that person. So if I wanted my LED to flash blue, just when I get a notification from this person, this is how I would do it. So I think that's definitely a pretty cool feature that you can mess with if you so choose. So um, one other word of warning, if you want to test any of these features, so let's say you are testing your notification for your Gmail. You go in here, you can click what actual folder you want to use from your Gmail, which is pretty nifty. Enable notification here, go to light. If you want to test to see if it works, you can hit this button, which will enter a testing mode right here. But if you do that on the Nexus 5, it won't start working until you actually turn the screen off. The LED won't light up unless the screen is off. So make sure that if you're testing, you turn the screen off before you actually try to do anything. So okay, that's it. Just check out that, download it, turn it on, and get going. That's the best way to go about it. Um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And for the full tutorial, head over to Nexus 5 SoftModder. Thanks a lot, guys.